Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quick review for a new dual coil RDA I got recently. It's going to be of course this one, the Drop RDA version 1.5. Now the original Drop I never had, so I can't compare it in this video. What I do know is that outside on this one, aesthetically it's very different. The airflow is slightly more refined, but the build deck itself is going to be the same as on the Drop. I think the only difference is that those um, post holes are slightly bigger for your coils. That's going to be the only difference on the deck itself. So it's more aesthetically an upgrade and airflow is an upgrade, which is why it's going to be the 1.5, not the drop version 2, obviously. Now, I do believe that Brian from TVC had no input with this one. The drop was his RDA. This one is going to be purely on Digiflavor. So yeah, what we'll do first, go down, open the box, Look what we get inside, find a quick build, come back up top, and we'll talk about the Drop RDA version 1.5. Okay, here we have a packaging for the Drop RDA version 1.5. Quick look around the box itself. Inside this box, we're going to find a few things. Going to get a little online store voucher for $15, obviously not good for us in the UK. A little envelope with your warranty cards. A little user manual for the Drop RDA 1.5. Also get a little baggie, some coils and some cotton. It does tell you what the coils are. These are going to be NI80 fused coil claptons coming at a 0.4 ohm. They are nichrome, so I'm using these ones obviously. A little bag for your spares, spare tri screwdriver, spare o rings, spare post screws, and the squat pins inside here. Out of the box will be a fixed 510, but there is a squat pin available if you want to squat for it. This review, I'm going to use mine just purely as a dripper. And of course, we're going to get the drop RDA 1.5 itself. If you've already had the original drop, which I never did, you'll see on the outside, it looks very different to what I've been told. The deck is very similar to the original version, but the outside, aesthetically, is going to be very different. This will be a 24mm RDA from the base to the top of the drip tip. It's going to be 39mm. On the bottom, it does say, Drop, Digiflavor, CE Mark, Dr. Swords and Bin, Seal Number, and your Gold Plate 510 pin. Like I said, in the bag will be a Squamp pin if you want to use that one. So yeah, on the front here, it does say Drop. On both sides, that's going to be your airflow here. And airflow here is going to be dual airflow. On the top, 810 drip tip. Just pop it off. A little O-ring. And this little part here of your knurling will be your airflow control. You need to screw this down slightly. See how the airflow here? Those first two slots there are blank. The four above it are open. As you turn this part at the top, You'll see you expose five rolls of honeycomb. Keep turning it. You can close it down to three rolls. Then two rolls. One more turn. will give you one big slot at the bottom. What you do this side will be the same on this side. Show you how that works. As you can see here on the chamber, you have all the honeycomb options there from four to three to two and then your cyclops on both sides one o-ring there that is held on quite nicely with that one it's quite tight i must say so yeah like i said the bottom two here are just for display this little cut out here and cut out here is how you get the deck on from what i know this is going to be the same sort of way that the um, original locks into place so that goes in there turn it around and it locks in that way the airflow is straight there against your coils and you can turn this around without moving it around. It's quite good, I must say. To get this all off, just pop it off. It's going to be two O-rings there. I will say, over time, you might find this might get a bit loose. Those O-rings right now are fairly tight, but later on, after a lot of use with a lot more juice, these might get a bit loose, I must say. I wish they were slightly tighter. On the deck itself, like I said, it's going to be very similar to original Drop RDA. From what I know is that the post holes are going to be slightly bigger. That's going to be about the only difference. It's a gold-plated deck. I'm not keen on that, but that's going to be personal. 
Go put one coil in this way, one coil in this way. Cotton goes down here and down here. It's called a drop RDA because you drop your coil in. You don't need to trim the legs beforehand. You put your coil all the way inside. You're going to get your snips. Get inside here and snip off that leg and that leg, that leg and that leg. You snip it off, make sure you get all the pieces out, obviously. In my build today, I've already got some coils, which could be Nature Vapes Sky Ladder. These are old coils. I've already got mine already cut because I've been using them. So I don't need to cut my legs, so just put them back in again. So yeah, it's a very simple deck. Like I said, put your coil straight in, screw them down. The gruff screws will be flathead in the bag. There's going to be four spare ones, but they're going to be flathead as well. I wish maybe these had been Allen key. I'm not keen on flatheads, but it's going to be very simple to build, like I said. As you can see, there's, there's your insulator on this side. So these are going to be a positive. These will be a negative. What I'm going to do is go put in a quick build. See, so like I said, I've already got my coils here. Been using these for a while. I'm not going to change them. I'm going to use the same ones. So let's put them straight in, hold it down, and screw it into place. Once all screwed down, just pull them over slightly. I like mine quite close in the center. You can have yours further out to the airflow here, but I like them more closer, but not touching, obviously. About there, it's been fine for me. Let's check the arms quickly. So I came in at a 0.29. Going to dry fire a few times. It's glowing nicely. Let it cool down, wick it up. Simple and easy to wick up this one. When you cut your cotton, you only slightly over the deck. You need quite a bit to hang down because from this coil down to the base, it's quite a big drop. So you need to grab quite a bit of cotton at the end. Like so. Fluff it out. I cut a little bit off the sides. Just trim it up. Slight V shape, I like that for me. Then just put it straight down into that well. Like that. Plenty of cotton. I don't put too much cotton underneath the coil. I like that airflow coming all the way through. I find if you put too much cotton underneath it, it blocks off the airflow slightly. It moves the flavor slightly. If you've got airflow coming in both sides, all the way through, it's better. So put your cotton in, curl it under slightly, but make sure it's quite low down. So enough air comes through there. So yeah, let's get some juice. The juice today would be my thunder clouds. It's gonna be my thunder berry lemonade. Like I say, there is a squamping available. I'm not really big into squonking, I must say. I'd rather just drip mine. So first of all, we're going to really saturate the cotton the first time. After that, you can drop a few drops at a time when it gets a bit dry. It smells really nice, that juice, I must say. So yeah, get on the top cap. Like I said, it's got a little cut out there, the V-shape. Line up that V-shape, put it straight on. Turn it around. And it falls into place. 
I be vaping my one with free airflow open, all honeycomb like this. I'll talk more about the airflow later on. When you cut it down, you do feel a difference, I must say. Even this one though, with it all open fully full. It's gonna have a slight, still a slight restriction, but not much. Like I said, we'll talk about that later on. Get a drip tip. Put it on. So yeah, that's gonna be the drop. RDA version 1.5. Let's go up top, have a quick vape, have a quick talk, change the background to three for me. Let's come up the top. So yeah, back up top with the drop RDA 1.5. As you can see, I've still got my airflow open with the three honeycomb lines. Find this one now at 50 watts. So quick vape. Vape wise. Really nice smooth airflow. Yeah, I found with a drop RDA, the airflow's been really smooth. Gonna get over the fit and finish first quickly. Like I said in the beginning, it's not gonna be much of a difference build wise, build deck wise, should I say, than the original drop, just outside aesthetically. If you've already got the drop RDA, you have to decide with this video whether you want to upgrade to this one or whether you're still happy with the original drop. If you don't have a drop, then I would say go for this one, the 1.5, obviously. Fit and finish has been really good. The O-rings on the airflow control at the top is fine, but the two O-rings holding the top cap, they may get slightly loose over time. I think they could be a bit more tighter O-rings, but it's not so bad. It won't come off in your hand, but over time, it might get a little bit loose. I like the look of this one, I must say, on the outside. My one is silver, so it's all one color. It's available in a few colors, but some colors it's like a two-tone. The base is going to be one color, and this part is a different color. It's a bit, you know, if you like that sort of thing, fair enough. That's why I got mine in silver, so it's going to be purely the same color all the way through it. Going to go over the good points and the bad points, but first of all, a quick vape. I've been really enjoying this one, I must say. Really good for flavor. So yeah, good points will be that build deck. It's gonna be very simple, very similar, obviously, to original drop. Drop your coils in, and the name. Screw them tight, get your snips in under the coils and cut them. My coils I've been using already, so I already cut the legs beforehand. If you don't need to cut your legs pre-installation, put the coil in, screw it down, cut the legs afterwards. When you cut the legs, obviously make sure you get all the metal pieces out before you fire this one. So yeah, like I said, very easy to build on. Simple to wick. As I showed you there when I put my wick in, I put my wick through and down and slightly underneath. Don't block off the airflow going straight through the middle of the coils, going in one and out the other. I find you leave that wide open. It gives it a bit more flavor, it makes it a bit more quieter. If you put too much cotton under those coils, the airflow comes in here, hits that coil and goes up. It's a bit noisy, I must say. This way, with that, like I said, fully open, the air comes straight in both ways and up. That's with it on three holes. If I turn it down to say two, two lines. As you can hear there, very quiet, I must say. Down to one line of Cyclops. Really, really quiet vape, fully open, which could be all four lines. Again, really quiet. I find that a bit too much air for me. I like the three lines of honeycombs. I'm gonna go on to the good points about the airflow. This one is working really well. I don't know what it's like in the original drop, but the airflow on this one, the 1.5, really good really smooth airflow. You can close it all the way down to a really restricted director lung. A fully open, it is gonna be an open director lung, but I find there's gonna be a slight resistance still. It's not totally, totally airy. That's because it's gonna be honeycomb patterns. If that was like four open cyclops, it'd be a lot more air. I think with four cyclops, it'd been a bit more noisy as well. This honeycomb is making it more quieter. Another vape. 
a bit more juice. I will say, like I said, in the packaging, it comes with a swank pin. I'm not really big on squonking, I must say, but it is uh, in the packaging. I'm going to use it as a squonker. Do you have any bad points about the drop RDA 1.5? Not really. It's just not going to be much of a difference between the original drop on the build deck. It's just going to be aesthetically on the outside very different. So it's one of those ones that if you've already got the drop RDA and you're happy with it, do you need this one? Not really. If you don't have a drop, you think about getting one, then go for the 1.5, I must say. Been really enjoying the flavour. I have no real bad points. Like I said, it's perform performing really well. Easy to build, easy to wick. Airflow is really smooth. It's one of those RDAs that I can't really find anything bad. It's all just been really good, I must say. I've been enjoying the flavour of this one. The flavour for me, depending on my build, it's between the 8 and 8.5. These coils I've been using all the time since I got this one. I found with fruity vapes, bakery vapes and custards, really good flavour. I've not tried a tobacco e-liquid this one because this is going to be purely direct to lung. My tobaccos, I usually vape them mouth to lung in RTAs. But yeah, the three styles of flavours I've tried, really good flavour guys. Price wise, get the UK between £25 and £30. It's a good price. So yeah, that's my thoughts and my opinions on the Digiflavor Drop RDA version 1.5. Like I said, it's going to be one of those ones that if you've already got the drop and you're happy with it, do you need this one? Not really. If you don't have a drop and you think about getting one, then yeah, go straight away for the 1.5. It's a big improvement from what I hear. Smoother airflow and really, really good flavour. So yeah, guys and girls, hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, want to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to me, I've seen me before, want to hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, I'll see you all on the next one.